they are indeed, Ralph. And that's why Supercross is on its way to becoming the number one form of motorsports in the United States. And we're set for the Coors Extra Gold Super Challenge, round nine of the Camel Supercross Series in Tampa, Florida. The gate is dropped, the field heads toward corner number one. That's Doug Dubach aboard the white Yamaha, rider number 16, that took the whole shot. One rider down at the back of the pack. He's all right, but he'll be out of contention. And Johnny O'Mara aboard the yellow Suzuki, rocketed by Dubach. He made the pass in midair. Dubach looked to his left, and all he saw were wheels and boots. They belong to Johnny O'Mara. And here comes Dubach right back to the inside of O'Mara. Dubach, rider number 16 from Chino, California. Now it's O'Mara's turn again. O'Mara dives to the inside. But Dubach got a good drive out of that corner. He just grabbed a handful of throttle and rocketed back by the Osho. Around the two of them, there's Jeff Ward. What an unbelievable charge. Now Ward, off the starting line, was running about number five or number six. We were watching the battle between O'Mara and Dubach and paid no attention to Jeff Ward. But Jeff Ward, a two-time Supercross champion, has taken over the number one position. Aboard is Kawasaki. Ward threaded his way between Dubach and O'Mara and made it look easy. So easy, in fact, that if you're Johnny O'Mara, you have to be wondering if anyone will be able to catch Jeff Ward. Well, if anyone can, it's going to be Jeff Stanton. He's moving now to the inside of Doug Dubach, rider number seven. Stanton on the red Honda, here he comes, is the current series points leader. Stanton has won three Supercross events in this 1989 season. In fact, coming into this Tampa event, Stanton had won three in a row. You have to wonder if Stanton, who was looking at the possibility of winning his first ever national championship, if he is bothered by all of the fame and publicity. No, I'm still the same Jeff Stanton. I'm cool, calm, and collected. Um, just taking each race one at a time. Um, it's getting a little easier for me knowing that I've won three in a row. So here in Tampa, I'm just going to take it, go out and ride the best I can. And here are a couple of other riders riding the best they can on this tough Tampa track. Running in a number four position on the white Yamaha is Doug Dubach out of Chino, California. From Stillwater, Oklahoma, in fifth, rider number 10 aboard the Honda is Guy Cooper. Now, Cooper has been able to draw close to Dubach, but he's not been able to make the pass. And every time he gets within striking distance, Dubach seems to buy one more gear and pulls away. They're chasing, of course, the rider in third, rider number seven, current series points leader Jeff Stanton. In the number two position is rider number 20 aboard that yellow Suzuki, 1984 Supercross champion Johnny O'Mara. Now, O'Mara has had a couple of second-place finishes this year, including a very close one last week in Houston. He has not, however, been able to get that number one spot. We asked O'Mara earlier if the lack of wins bothered him. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. You know, I went home this week and really thought about the race and what I could have done to, you know, won it. And, uh, it at times, it's frustrating, like you said. But um, I had a few ideas I should have done uh, last week, and I think I probably could have came out on top if I would have done them. And hopefully, if I get in that situation tonight, that I'll use those to my advantage and I can win this one. When we return, the main event here in Tampa, Florida will continue. We'll find out if O'Mara can indeed win this one. nine of the Camel Supercross Series. It's just about history. That's Johnny O'Mara, rider number 20. He's holding down the number two position. It appears that O'Mara is going to have to settle for the second week in a row for another second place. The white flag signifies one lap remaining. At this point, all O'Mara wants to do is keep it upright. He'll never catch the leader, Jeff Ward, rider number five on the Kawasaki. While we have time, we'd like to thank the promoters of the Tampa Supercross, Super Sports Promotions, and SRO Pace. Also, let's give a call to the staff here at Tampa Stadium. They've worked with us all week, and without their help, this telecast would not have been possible. In addition, special thanks to the American Motorcycle Association for their cooperation. Jeff Ward is putting the final whoops, the final bumps, jumps, and turns into the record book. One more jump across the finish line, and he'll take the Tampa Supercross. Right behind him, rider number 20 is Johnny O'Mara in the number two position. Now, O'Mara closed the gap considerably on that last lap as he points at Ward, but that's because Ward slowed the pace. Finishing behind Ward and O'Mara, Ron Lachine was third on the Kawasaki. Guy Cooper finished fourth aboard the Honda, while Sean Kalos from Arizona finished fifth on the Yamaha. In the number six position out of Florida, riding a Suzuki was Ron Tishner. Doug Dubach was seventh, George Holland eighth, Eric Kehoe ninth, and Larry Ward 10th.
Let's go to Ralph Shaheen, who was with our winner, Jeff Ward. Jeff Ward, the last thing you and I said to each other before you started this main event was see in Victory Circle. And Wardy, that's exactly what you did. You got to be feeling great after coming back so strong. Yeah, I felt really good. Um, I didn't get a good start. I was on mid-pack, and I made a really lot of aggressive moves. First couple jumps, just jumped when guys weren't jumping and took some risks because I knew that's the only way I'd win. And uh, it worked. And once I got out front, I rode smooth. The lappers were in my way a lot, but I still felt strong, and uh, I knew Johnny couldn't catch me, so I'm really happy. Well, I'll tell you what, from the looks of things, the way you were riding out there, one would have to say that everything is healthy and 100% back into it in the ward camp. Yeah, it feels great. You know, I just knew, you know, knew I could win, and uh, I'm glad I didn't get a good start and, you know, showed I can come from behind and just felt real comfortable. And uh, Johnny rode really good, really good race. I passed him, I think, earlier on in the beginning of the race. And just like he did my heat race and pulled it out, and uh, he couldn't make it up. So I'm real happy right now. Because he missed the first six events, Ward is not listed on our standings board. However, 25 points for winning here in Tampa have moved the Kawasaki rider into 11th place. Jeff Stanton, despite scoring no points here tonight, retains the series number one position. And that's the way it went in Tampa, Florida. Next week, we'll be in Dallas, Texas for round 10. With that race, the 15-event Camel Supercross Series will be entering the home stretch. For Ralph Shaheen, I'm Larry Myers saying so long until next week.